Is this a house finch or a purple finch? Is a question that many birders have asked over the years. Thankfully, with a few tips, bird enthusiasts can be better equipped to answer this question out in the field. One of the first things to think about when deciding between house and purple finch is range. The house finch is a permanent resident of many states, whereas the purple finch moves south to many states during their non-breeding season. House finches are also more often seen in urban spaces, but both species will eat at bird feeders. Both species are about the size of a house sparrow, around 6 inches, and males are brown and red, while the females are brown, tan, and white. There are a few features present in both genders of these birds that are harder to see in the field. The purple finch will have a deeper notch in their tail, as well as a stockier, straighter bill, whereas the house finch will have a more curved upper bill and only a slight notch in the tail. Thankfully, there are other ID features that are easier to see when comparing these two species. In males, the house finch will have red, orange, or yellow on mostly their head and breast, where the purple finch will have a more wine-stained appearance over most of its body. Additionally, the house finch will have brown streaking under the tail, wings, and lower stomach, which the purple finch male will lack. Some male purple finches can have some streaking, but it is a lot less than a male house finch would have. The male house finch will also appear to have thin white wing bars, where the wing bars on a purple finch male will be much more rosy. One of the main differences in the females is the coloration on the face. The purple finch will have a white eyebrow and mustache stripe that the female house finch lacks. Additionally, the striping on the underparts of the purple finch appears shorter and more distinct, where it appears blurry in the house finch. Overall, the head of a purple finch may also appear more angular and crested compared to the rounded head of a house finch. One other thing to consider is the possibility of the bird in question being a Cassin's finch. Male Cassin's finches may have a more noticeably peaked crown and nearly no streaking on the stomach. The female Cassin's finch will have streaked undertail coverts and even more defined streaking than a female purple finch would on the stomach. Both male and female Cassin's finches will have a more pointed, sharper bill than the house or purple finch, and will also have a faint white eye ring. Here to talk about the differences a little further is winter finch expert Matt Young. Hi, finch fans out there at Badgerland Birding. I just wanted to add some, some ID tips on another potential uh, hard-to-ID identification group of finches, like similar to red poles but certainly not the same, uh, is kind of the purple finch, house finch group. And Cassin's finch is in there too, but Cassin's finch is clearly, you know, it's a bird of the West. Um, but just some of the ID tips on house finch and purple finch, there's a few things that kind of jump out that are important. Um, certainly habitat is, is one that should not be, should always be considered, at least in a breeding season, uh, purple finches are almost always associated with, with conifers whereas house finches are uh, more of an open country or urban uh, bird. But there's clearly overlap in years like this where you have these big eruptions uh, into the south, and uh, there's some overlap in the habitat there. Um, but as far as like direct uh, identification uh, tips, um, uh, two or three th big things kind of jump out at us. Uh, purple finch, the head can ha often has an angular or peaked or crested look to it. This is not uncommon for the purple finch to give this appearance. Uh, whereas the house finch has a much more rounded uh, head than, than the purple finch. Uh, the purple finch almost likes it, almost like it flares its head up a little bit. And from a distance, it'll look angular. And it's, it's super, super, super distinctive. Uh, another thing is kind of where the color uh, is throughout the bird. And this was, I think, is, is kind of mentioned in, in the video. Um, but... You know, purple finches, um, you know, they have this kind of wine color, uh, diffuse wine color throughout the body or like looks like the bird has literally been dipped in a raspberry sauce. I mean, they're clearly not a purple species, um, but they have this appearance like they have been dipped in raspberry sauce. And and it should, it should it, it, it's worth noting that um, females and immature males actually look the same. And identifying them out is not is not really possible unless you have a bird in hand and you got a lot of experience with a bird in hand. It's not until year two that purple finches get that uh, start to get the coloration. Um, 
Additionally, like when it comes to the color uh, between, you know, house finch and even Cassin's finch and purp purple finch, purple finches again will have this kind of dipped in raspberry sauce or dipped in wine color uh, appearance to them. And it's diffused throughout the body, even through the streaking. But the uh, with with house finches, you know, the color is more of a true red. Um, and with Cassin's finch, it's almost like this vibrant red where it's been the deepest red or the most vibrant red is right on the crown of the bird. Um, that is one way to kind of tell them apart. Um, and, and, and it's easy to overlook this last uh, uh, ID characteristic is the, the calls, the flight calls on these birds are super, super distinctive. Uh, unlike with like common and hoary red pole, the common and hoary red pole, they look very, or they sound very, very similar to the point where, you, you know, it's questionable whether they can be really uh, reliably identified by uh, their flight call. But with, with house finch, they have this like two parted suip, suip kind of call and purple finches have this, a lot of people don't even know it. It's, it's almost hard to even pick up, but it's this flat squeaky pick call that they make um it's super super different than uh house finch so hopefully that helps uh with also trying to identify uh these uh, particular species out but again it's always great talking to uh anyone that wants to know more about finches we hope you found this video helpful make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching this episode of id tips mm -hmm.